Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. Hello, Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. I'd like to continue my series on dementia by making the point that if someone is, is starting to lose their memory, if someone is starting to show features that they're not thinking as well, anything at all that might suggest that someone has mild cognitive impairment or possibly even moving into the diagnosis of dementia, you need a thorough workup. I everyone should have an MRI of their brain. MRI is better in my view than a CT scan, gives you much better pictures of the brain, it's a much better thing to do. But also you should have what we call neurocognitive testing with a neuropsychologist or with a good neurologist who specializes in, in this area. But before you probably even go down that route, there's a whole series of very simple blood tests. So it's one blood test that measures a whole lot of different things that can tell you whether you are set up for another condition that may be mimicking de dementia. So we can do a, a full blood screen, looking at your blood count, looking at your kidney function, your liver function, looking at your thyroid level. So an underactive thyroid is a great mimicker of, of dementia. We can also do a B12 level, B12 and folic acid level. People with very low B12 uh, levels can have problems with memory and concentration and all of these other things. Interestingly, a low sodium level in the bloodstream doesn't mean you're not getting enough salt. It means that the sodium is being diluted by something else. Having low sodium can give you a, a dementing-like illness as well, and that can be picked up very easily in a blood test. The, some of the sexually transmitted diseases, the old style syphilis can cause the thing we call general paresis of the insane. We hardly ever see any cases these days. HIV can also cause a dementing like illness as well. And there's another blood test that I do pretty routinely in my patients who've got a family history of dementia, looking at a thing called APOE alleles. And there's a thing called APOE4, which is really one of, the, one of the proteins that carries cholesterol in many ways, but this APOE4 has an association with dementia as well. So you, you can see with all the things I've said about dementia, it's not just a straightforward matter of saying, oh, I'm starting to lose my memory. I can't think as well, therefore I have Alzheimer's disease. You need a comprehensive assessment because in many cases, there are treatments that are being offered, things we can do about this. That's the checkup. I'll talk to you next week. Thank <laughs> you.